So, uh, last night I watched um, The House of Wax, the 1953 um, Vincent Price version. I have the, um, the 3D Blu-ray, but I don't have a 3D Blu-ray player, and <laughs> I have um, a very old television. So it was not in 3D, which was too bad, because um, you could tell, you know, parts of it were really fun, uh, the 3D elements. Um, I think the DVD, or I mean the Blu-ray that I have, also as a special feature, has the 1933 Michael Curtiz Mystery of the Wax Museum. So I'll probably watch that. Um maybe even tonight, just to compare and contrast. Um, and here, everybody, there's Mr. Rochester. He's wearing his tuxedo because he, um, here, look, kitty. He's not looking. Um, meow, because he uh, is a very sick kitty and he gets fluids once a week and he scratches himself afterwards, so I have to put him in the tuxedo so he doesn't scratch. But he also looks really fancy. I think I mentioned that last week, actually. Um, because he was in the tux last week also. Yeah. Back to the House of Wax. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I mean, how can you, you if you don't like Vincent Price, uh, there's, you just can't be trusted. He's kind of like David Bowie. Like, everybody loves David Bowie, everybody loves Vincent Price. Um, and the, the makeup was really great. I liked, um, I liked his creepy ass makeup. Like, that was, that was fun. Um, the women were, were great. There was one actress in it. She reminded me of, um, oh my god, she reminded me of, oh jeez. Ooh, she reminded me of. Judy Holiday, but it wasn't Judy Holiday. Um, trying to remember which actress it was that reminded me of her. The the blonde one that wanted to get married at the beginning. Um, she's kind of fun, but I can't remember her name, so now I'll never get to see more of her movies. Oh God, Carolyn Jones might have been Carolyn Jones. Whoa, she was Morticia? No, maybe it wasn't Carolyn Jones. Wow. I should really look these things up. Maybe it was Carolyn Jones. Oh, well then I guess I have seen more of her stuff. Fantastic. Yeah, it was her. Okay. She's great. I didn't even recognize her. Wow. Um, you know who else was in there that I only just kind of recognized? Charles Bronson. Right? Really early Charles Bronson. Uh, fantastic. So, um, and it was directed by Andrew DeToth, who's one of my favorite um, eye-patched old Hollywood directors. There's several of them the, who wore eye-patches for various reasons. Um, so I enjoyed it. Um, it was uh, for, a, like, a 1953 B-film sort of period horror that was very popular back then. Um, it, it hit all the right notes. Um, I think modern audiences may not like it as much if they, they aren't used to that kind of film and they don't, you know. What are you doing? He keeps trying to sit on my coffee. Um, and he won't eat his breakfast. Ugh, cat. Well, come here. He just wants to be in a video. Register. He actually watched the movie. He really should do these reviews with me. Cat kale. But he's a cat, so he can't talk. Which is a shame. Um, maybe that's why he keeps trying to interrupt the video. He has something to say about Vincent Price. I'm sure he's a big Vincent Price fan. Um, so yeah, I'll probably watch the Mystery of the House, Mystery of the Wax Museum tonight. Uh, for tonight's horror movie. Um, I love Vincent Price. I, I'm missing some of his really big ones, too, for some reason. Like, I haven't seen The Abom Abominable Mr. Phoebes, which also has Joe Cotton, so, like, how have I not seen that? Um, I should probably try to see if that's on the internet somewhere and watch it this month. Um, 
But, ugh, Vincent Price. He's great. I always love him. I was in, I was in, like, a party store a couple weeks ago, and they were playing, this is a total tangent, I'm sorry, they were playing what I thought was Thriller, like, it was the Thriller music, but then when the person started singing, it was totally not Michael Jackson, and then they got to the Vincent Price part of Thriller, and it was totally not Vincent Price, and I was like, what is this cut rate Thriller? What is happening? Um, don't listen to that cover if you can avoid it. It was terrible. I mean, why did the party store, like, have it on? They have some cut rate CD they were selling with, like, shitty covers of Wars songs. I don't know. Mm. Very strange. So, yes. House of Wax, 1953. Very fun. I would love someday to see it um, in 3D. I'm sure, I think someone showed it last year, a couple people actually showed it last year in 3D because it was its anniversary, so I missed out. Wah, wah. But I'm sure, um, you know, now that, that there's a 3D version, you know, a 3D print floating around somewhere, I'm, I'm sure I'll get to see it at some point, which will be great. 